Hi, my name is Jenny Anderson, and I am one of the graduate assistants with the Iowa Center for Assistive Technology Education and Research, which is also known as iCater and is housed in the College of Education at the University of Iowa. And I am going to talk to you about some apps that are actually games for individuals who cannot see the screen, so any type of visual impairment. The apps uh, use all auditory feedback to tell you what, how you're doing in the game, what's going on in the game, and how to access the game. So I am going to share my screen and show you some of these tools. All right, so I'm showing you a folder um, on my iPad that has a number of different games. And I downloaded these from the app, uh, Apple Store, and the developer for these apps is called Kid Friendly Software Inc. And you can Google that to find these games, or you can search for the word blindfold, followed by the name of the game that you're looking for. So just going through some of these games, there's Blindfold War, Blindfold Hopper, Blindfold Racer, and this game's pretty fun, actually. It, uh, you need headphones, so I'm not going to actually review this specific one today, but you listen to music, and as you, if you hear the music equally distributed across both ears, then you know you're going straight, and if you start to hear the music in one ear more than the other, then you know you're headed toward a wall in that direction. You should steer away from it. And it also get, describes things that, and obstacles that you might be coming up to and how to get around them. It's a pretty fun game. Um, some more are Spades, V-Ball, Sudoku, Simon, Wild Card. I've got another page that in, uh, includes bowling games, air hockey games, Pong, um, and so forth. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to click on V-Ball and we'll see if I can make this game play. So let's try a beginner game. Using one coin to play. To go back to the main menu, swipe up with three fingers. Starting game, beginner game, heavy ball. Flick your roll ball. Soyuz. Ten points. Ball two. Flick your roll. Ball rolled into the top gutter. No points. Ball three. Flick to roll. You didn't roll the ball far enough. Try again. Ball rolled into the bottom gutter. No points. Ball four. Flick to roll. So as you can see, I'm not very good at this game, but and uh, there are some visual supports if you do have some, uh, the ability to see, but not, it's pretty minimal um, because everything is directed to you auditorily. Um, hopefully you guys could hear that sound pretty well. Um, with these games, you get free access to the game 10 times for playing that game. And then after that, uh, unlimited access is a paid upgrade. Uh, so for one of these games, I found that the upgrade for unlimited access to the games was $4.99. And I would assume that a lot of them follow suit with a price like that. Uh, another game is Blindfold Wild Card, and this one is a lot like Uno. So I'm going to try playing this with you. Um, there are different rules, and I've gone into the help and the user guide and read about this game before this webinar, but this is always a place that you can go and learn about the game and how to play the game um, in, without um, vision on the particular iPad. But so uh, some of the rules include drawing a card as a three finger tap, playing a card, you tap twice, hearing all of your cards, you swipe down with two fingers, move within your hand to see what item or cards you have, flicking left and right. Uh, they're ordered by color so you can switch colors quickly by swiping left or right with two fingers and so forth. So I'm gonna try playing the game. Um, 
see. Why isn't the sound working? Let's see if we can start the game over. Oops. All right, we can go back, reset the game, maybe. Score set back to zero. All right. Using one coin. There we go. To play, you have only two coins left. To get more coins, click Get Upgrades. To go back to the main menu, swipe up with three fingers. Starting wild card, two players. Book goes first. Dealing your cards. Dealing box cards. Dealing a card to discard pile. You have seven cards. Nine blue. Two red. Seven red. One green. Four green. Five green. Seven green. Discard pile top card is six blue. Book plays seven blue. Book has six cards. It's your turn. Two red. Seven red. Two red. Nine blue. You play nine blue. You have six cards. Bob plays four blue. Bob has five cards. It's your turn. Seven red. One green. Four green. You play four green. You have five cards. Bob plays wild card. Color is now red. Bob has four cards. It's your turn. One green. Seven red. You played seven red. All right. So I am just going to get out of this four game cards. now. That was just a little sample of how this game works. Another game is... Let's try bowling. So... This game is nice because you can see right from the main menu that there are um, easier versions and then you can progress and get more difficult with uh, practice and skill. So I'm gonna just pick the simple throw game. Using one coin to play. To go back to the main menu, swipe up with three fingers. Start a game, 10 pin, one player, simple throw, it's your turn. Move your finger left and right, and then flick it. The ball will travel straight towards the pins. Two. You knocked over nine pins, leaving one pin standing. Ten. Throw your second ball. Four. You made a spare. It's your turn. Frame two. Throw your first ball. One. You made a strike. It's your turn. Free to. So that's kind of how that game works. Uh, essentially, all I did was drag my finger horizontally to where I wanted the ball to be released from to simply throw it forward. Um, as you get a little bit more uh, into the d difficult levels, you can change and do a little bit more using different swipes. Um, but that is one of the games bowling. And then we have a number of other ones. I'm not going to get into them, but um, there are a lot of different options. This is a really cool system of apps. Um, check out Kid Friendly Software Inc. Uh, on, at the App Store and check them out and try them out. They're free um, and begin really easy with tutorials and the user guide. Um, but could be really, really useful if you have students in the classroom that have visual impairments that also want to earn time to play with the iPad like other students do um, for completing their work and things like that as rewards. So this provides just a little bit extra for the iPad for um, fun games that can really help. And they're, they're really use, usable by all, but if you do have visual, uh, visual abilities, uh, they do recommend shutting your eyes because it can be a little bit tough to um, pay attention to the game and really follow along, um, even though there are some simple, as you could see, um, screen 
functions, um, they're really not needed. So it takes a little bit of practice and getting used to, but these are pretty cool games. I am going to stop my share and come back to you guys. Uh, like I said, I'm Jenny uh, at, at iCater. You can reach me with any questions that you have at J-E-N-N-I-F-E-R hyphen A-N-D-E-R-S-E-N at uiowa.edu or you can email iCater at I-C-A-T-E-R at uiowa.edu. Um, we love to hear from you and see what kind of apps and things that you guys are using that you might want to see uh, reviewed or want to share with us. Um, and we look forward to hearing from you. Thanks a lot. Bye. Have a good week.